Hi, everyone. My name is Matt Harnick, and this is Focus Friday, our weekly video segment where we focus on you, our local business owner, and your business. Please make sure to connect with us so we can meet you and feature you and your business in our weekly spotlight. This week, I would like to welcome Russell Pitcairn, Manager of Business Development from the Junk Luggers. Russell, good morning. Good morning, Matt. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for joining me. Uh, tell us a little bit about your company. Yeah, sure. So Junk Luggers, we are an eco-friendly, full-service junk removal company. And what that means is we help realtors um, and homeowners prepare their houses for listings and closings. Um, we do that by removing one to two items to basement cleanouts, garage cleanouts, and full estate cleanouts. Okay, excellent. Um, have you, using that process, have you helped someone sell a house recently? I know you work with a lot um, of really Yeah, I mean, especially during the springtime, we've been helping a lot of people um, either right before settlement or right before they do, they do a uh, photo shoot for their house. Because, right. uh, I mean, everything's, everything's uh, digital now. So it's really important to make the photos look good. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what comes to mind recently is we, uh, we picked up uh, about a full truck of items from a home in Huntington Valley. Um, we came on a Tuesday because their photo shoot was scheduled for Wednesday. Right. And in their backyard, we removed, uh, it seemed like a pile of wood from an old shed project. Uh, we removed some uh, tattered furniture um, that was a, uh, that wouldn't look good in the photo. Um, so just by removing a, a few items uh, inside the house and then a relatively bigger clean out um, outside the house, they were able to confidently shoot their house for, uh, for the online listing. And um, <clears throat> I just checked in with a customer and they actually, within uh, two days, they had an offer and now they're under contract. So Perfect. <laughs> I'm not gonna take too much credit, but I'll take just a <laughs> little bit of credit for that. Absolutely. I mean, look, you guys have helped, you know, me and my clients many times with getting items out of the house. I, I can remember a number of times where at the, at the last minute, um, you know, we just realized that there's things that just weren't gone before settlement. And you guys have always come through for us. So I really appreciate that. I know how it is. Okay. Um, so just curious, what do you do with the items that you collect? Um, sure. So some of the most, some of the uh, most common items that we pick up are things like uh, clothing, knickknacks, furniture, uh, you know, general construction debris, play sets, things in the backyard. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And what we do with those, we do, we do three things with those items that we pick up. Uh, we either uh, dispose of it properly, we either recycle it, or we, uh, or we donate to a local uh, thrift shop in the area. Great. Okay. Uh, is there anything that you don't take? Um, <clears throat> there's very few things that we don't take, uh, anything that would require a plumber or electrician to disconnect, we wouldn't be able to take, but, uh, there's been times where we've actually called our own, uh, network of plumbers and electricians had the, for example, we had a hot tub disconnected, uh, with one of our electricians that we knew after they disconnected the hot tub, then we were able to safely remove it. Great. Okay. Awesome. Um, now, we're actually hosting a joint event on May 1st. Uh, it's called Clean Up and Win. Um, for those of you out there who actually who uh, would like to bring um, items, we're actually, we're obviously hosting it with junk luggers, um, one of our friends, a uh, mortgage company, uh, Monica Palatano. Um, and uh, we're also doing a shredding event. I mean, there's a number of different vendors that we're having. So, um, Russell, you guys are collecting e-waste, obviously. Tell us what kind of um, items you're going to be collecting and sort of your role in that process. Sure. So we're going to have our, <clears throat> we're going to have our big train, uh, big green truck um, at the blue ball office with you guys. We're so excited. We did this. Uh, it seems like over a year ago, pre COVID. Yeah. Yep. And now we're, uh, we're so excited to be able to do it safely again. Um, I know there's a big need for people cleaning out their homes. And, uh, and frankly, the, the weekly trash doesn't pick up um, electronics or recycles it. So we're really happy to provide a solution for people to recycle electronics that have been cluttering up their office or once uh, technology is obsolete, you know, what do you do with the old cords? Uh, it's definitely not going to come back in style. Um, <clears throat> but what, what we are collecting is um, really anything with a plug. Uh, the only thing that we're not collecting at this event is TVs and monitors. We can pick those up separately, but Generally, what we get at these events are we get small appliances. That could be a microwave, a dehumidifier, 
Um, we've gotten uh, old phones with, this, with the screens cracked. Uh, we've picked up laptops. Um, the last one we did recently, we picked up several uh, dehumidifiers that I heard that. <laughs> broke up people, uh, small air conditioning units. Um, yeah, really, uh, really anything, anything with a plug except for TVs and monitors. Okay. Uh, just, I mean, I'm just curious because a lot of people have asked me, why not TVs and monitors? Is there something special about them that makes them not either eco-friendly or that you guys, you know, aren't taking them? Sure. So um, one of the reasons is uh, TVs and monitors take up, uh, take up a lot of space in the truck. So we want to have, we want to make it fair enough for everyone to bring their electronics that can get recycled. And then also uh, TVs and monitors um, take a little extra care to disassemble and recycle. So we like to do that uh, separately because um, they have special, uh, there's things in the TVs and monitors that are harder to recycle and take extra labor to, to break down or recycle. Okay, so it sounds like you do take them just not at the e-waste events and yeah, so, maybe a separate charge for that, for example, or? Yeah, so if we're doing, if we're doing a, a pickup and somebody has a old TV in their basement, um, we can pick up TVs and monitors at our regular job um, or when we're doing an estate clean out, we just, we're just not collecting them at this event. Got it. Okay. Yeah, and actually just, you know, for all of you out there, it's really important to note that you can, you know, call junk loggers to do relate any of those types of either events for you, certainly, or, you know, if you have an estate clean out, or if you just need to get rid of a bunch of stuff. I mean, they've done that for us. They've done that for our clients too, which is great. Awesome. Um, and then, you know, finally, is there anything else you wanted to tell us about your company? Um, sure. I think the thing that I, uh, want to portray is we're uh, our franchise is local to the um, to the Willow Grove Abington area, but we cover Montgomery Bucks and Philly, so we're willing to travel for our customers. And if there's anything that that's outside of our scope of work, if there's something that uh, we're not qualified to do, we have a great network of professionals that we work with that we refer to on a regular basis. Um, if somebody needs a realtor, we're happy to refer them to Matt Harnick uh, and your team. You guys do a great job. Uh, and, uh, and aside from the, the regular pickups that we do, we also do hoarding cleanups. So if, if somebody's in a situation where um, the, the house is unmanageable or to make it more safe for someone to live in, we can also come in and do those types of jobs as well. Great. All right, Russell, thank you so much for taking the time this morning. I really appreciate it. Um, for everyone out there, just please remember again, May 1st is our Clean Up and Win event. It's here uh, at our office in Keller, Willi uh, Keller Williams parking lot in Bluebell. Um, just please contact either Russell or myself if you have any questions about that. And thanks for joining us, Russell. Um, please remember everyone out there, uh, you know, join us each week to hear about uh, another local company and please make sure that you connect with us so we can talk about you and your business. Thanks again and have a great day.